Death Note is a game of cat and mouse, where the cat and mouse are constantly being redefined. Light Yagami is the smartest high school in Japan who finds a notebook in his final year of high school. If anybody's name is written in this book, they die. Light will use this to kill all criminals in the world, as he believes that if he cleanses all of them, nobody will commit any crimes. He's going up against the greatest detective in the world, L, who has remained anonymous and has solved nearly any case he's given. These are two of the smartest people on Earth, and both of them fighting each other in complex mind games where L is trying to find out if Light is the killer, and Light is trying to find out L's real name so he can write it in his death note. Both of them trying their absolute hardest and sacrificing anything not to lose, because the only thing they hate more than each other is losing. This is the story of Death Note, until it's not. In the infamous episode 25 titled Silence, the great detective L is killed by the Shinigami Rem after the human she loves is threatened. Death Note is 37 episodes long, meaning that there are 12 episodes where L is dead. This means that about one third of the show doesn't contain L at all. Instead, Light goes up against his successors, Nier and Mello. Nier represents L's intelligence and complete lack of emotion. Nier doesn't show any emotions besides mild annoyance when he fights L. He doesn't seem to care when his entire team is wiped out, he simply stares. Mello, on the other hand, represents the emotion and impulsiveness. He doesn't think as methodically as Nier, but that allows him to act a lot quicker. Throughout a complicated 10 episodes, Light is on very high suspicion by Nier, so to make sure they're completely transparent, they decide to meet in person. And this is the moment where Light Yagami meets the inevitable end to his murder spree. But before that, I just want to talk about all the characters up to this point, as I see a lot of people claiming that the characters in the second half are unrealistic. So first, Nier. Nate River, or Nier, is a 13-year-old boy tasked with becoming the spiritual successor to L and taking down Kira. He is insanely intelligent and enjoys solving complex puzzles in his spare time. These complex puzzles can range from dice buildings to taking down a god. This can explain why he never revealed to the public that Kira was killed. He doesn't see it as a real-world issue, he simply sees it as winning the game. The author of Death Note has stated that Nier is as, if not more emotionless than L. Quite the feat considering L only shows emotion two times throughout the whole series, his terror at the Shinigami, and his depression after containing Light and Mies in a prison cell for 60 days and finding out nothing. It is also said that, although Nier is very smart, he is extremely socially inept and sometimes scared of the outside world and trying new things. Possibly due to his social struggle, Nier doesn't care about the lives of others. It is said, quote, he values results above all else, meaning that he's willing to let his team members die if it brings him closer to solving the case. When asked about what the smartest character in Death Note is, the author says Nier because he cheats. Nier doesn't literally cheat, of course, but it's a reference to how little emotion Nier shows, similar to that of Light in the sense that he'll do anything to avoid losing. L dies because of his emotion. Although it was small, he had some empathy and emotion inside of him, not being willing to let people die for his cause. Much like Senku from Dr. Stone, he's a man of logic, but that doesn't mean that he'll let people die for him. Nier doesn't care, he'll do absolutely anything to win, basically making him light Yagami, but on the other side. Mihal Kiel, or Mello, is a 15-year-old who was meant to be the second L successor before he broke off from Whammy's house in an attempt to solve the case to prove he's better than Nier. He instead joins the Mafia to seek their help. The reason Mello hates Nier so much is he was constantly told that he was the second smartest at Whammy's house, only second to the annoying and calculated Nier. Mello has a similar look on solving cases as Nier does, however, he simply just breaks the law to get what he wants. He does drastic things like kidnapping Sayu Yagami to get a death note, or killing all the members of the SPK, even almost killing Nier at one point. He threatens to start World War III with his death note if the president doesn't give him funding. Mello isn't trying to catch Kira for justice like L, or to win the game like Nier. He simply wants to prove that he's better than Nier. What's odd is that Nier is actually quite fond of Mello. The hatred is completely one-sided between them. Eventually, Mello has some kind of realization that's never shared with the audience. Whatever that realization may have been, it caused him to kidnap Kiyomi Takeda, causing Light, and more importantly, the current owner of the Death Note, Mikami, to make a grave error by going to the bank at the wrong time to dig up his safety deposit box to kill Takeda. Through this, the SPK realizes where the Death Note is and what Light's plan is. And then they switch the real Death Note with a fake one and win through Mello's sacrifice. So we've talked about Nier and Mello, but we still have one final character to discuss, Light Yagami. I won't be discussing Light throughout the entire series, because that would take too long. Simply his opinions during this time. 
The introduction of Nier marks a great shift in Light's opinion towards his opposition. As much as Light may have hated El, he respected him. Light had none of that same respect for Nier. He's quite offended to be facing Nier for a few different reasons. Firstly, he's facing a child. Light sees himself as a god, and even the thought that someone who can't even drink beer could defeat him is unfathomable. Light also sees Nier as less impressive than El. While fighting El, Light seems to appreciate the challenge and that he has finally met someone who thinks like him. However, he seems to be more annoyed by Nier than anything. There are fewer mind games here too. Instead, Nier just tells Light how it is. There isn't any interesting interactions like when they play tennis or when El tells Light that he is El. This leads Light to become less careful when facing Nier. When facing El, he would never even think about doing moves as brave. But he's already won over most of the world. He just views Nier as some kid who's getting in the way of God. Once disposed of, Light will officially become the leader of the world. These circumstances make Light do something he's never done before. Trust someone else. Light entrusts Teru Mikami with the Death Note and Kiyomi Takeda to communicate between Light and Mikami to reduce suspicion. This trusting of others is what ends up getting him killed, as explored in Mellow section. We don't usually see Light portray emotion. The closest we saw was when he forfeit ownership of the Death Note and had no knowledge of it, and he showed genuine concern that he may be Hero. Besides that period of time, Light tried to never show intense emotion near anyone, especially El. We as the viewer could see some of these emotions, like when El died or when he realized he might have to kill his sister to maintain safety of the Death Note, but we've never seen him be public with these emotions. I'm saying this because at the end of Death Note, we see Light freak out after he's confronted. After Nier says they know he's Kira, he explodes and starts trying to deny it, but no matter what he says, it's over. There isn't anyone left to defend him. There isn't a way Light can just run away. There isn't a moment of, I knew you would do that, so I did this. Light was caught, and it was over. Even if he could convince them, everyone can tell by how panicked Light is. He then pivots, saying, So what if I am Kira? I've stopped wars and crime is down 70%. The world is better with me in power. And this is where something clicked for me, and it kind of scared me. Is Light correct? I mean, of course not, right? But if wars are gone and crime is down, he must be doing something right. Nier's response is one of the best in the series. He tells Light how he's not a god. He's just a serial killer who got lucky with a shooting gun. Nothing more, and nothing less. He's right. Light isn't a god. He isn't someone who should be in charge of the world. He's just a serial killer. Nothing more, nothing less. Might be installing, saying that they don't have confirmation that the Death Note is real and that he has one hidden somewhere else. Nier calls Light on his bluff, and while he has time, he quickly tries to reach into his watch to write down their names. Matsuda, the only person who believed that it wasn't Light. The only one who had faith in him. He believed Light was a good person, deserving of the title of L. Someone who was just falsely accused and truly was a good person on the inside. At this point, Light knows he's going to die. These injuries can't be healed himself, and even if he somehow did evade capture by the police, he would die from blood loss. Light yells for Mikami to kill everyone in the warehouse, and Mikami retorts with the obvious answer of how would he kill people with a fake note. Light calls out for help from his previous accomplices, Misa, Takeda, but of course, nobody responds. From here, Mikami commits suicide by stabbing himself with a pen and Light runs out of the warehouse. Light isn't running to survive, he isn't running to try to win, he isn't spending his last moments trying to outsmart Nier or to kill him with some method. He just begins reflecting. The bloody, dying, and exposed Kira juxtaposed to the quiet, calm, honor student who should have had a bright future ahead of him. Someone who was so bored about being around people who couldn't relate to him. Someone who was so perfect they believed that they were God. A person who sacrificed his friends, family, innocent people, his chances to go to heaven, and now his life, all for him to be stopped by a 17-year-old. Ryuk delivers the final lines of the series. It was good while it lasted. We eased each other's boredom for quite a while. Light lays down in the middle of the staircase, signifying how he'll be stuck in some form of purgatory forever. We see a shot of L looking down on Light, much like how Light was looking down on L in his final moments. Ryuk then writes Light Yagami into his death note, ending the life of the person he had been following for so long. A god of death killing not another god, but just any other mass murderer. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I know it's pretty different from my normal gaming videos. I just love analyzing shows like this, and Death Note was just so great to watch. Um, I was getting a bit burnt out on the gaming stuff, and I'm working on a really big project that should be out soon, but it's just a lot. <laughs> a lot of playing games, a lot of writing, just, it's a lot. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, even though it's a bit different from my normal stuff.